Okay, you can see it's actually losing a little bit because of what? Yeah, friction inertia. So I can... We were talking about uh, energy and momentum. We had just finished up a chapter on this concept called momentum, which basically describes the amount of motion something has. And then we were talking about a concept called energy, uh, which describes basically the ability to do work. We were showing uh, a board break and a brick break, uh, was, was demonstrating a transfer of energy and momentum uh, to, to break something. <laughs> Part of the challenge in, in this class, being a class for non-majors, a lot of those students walk into that class already having a fear or even a, a extreme dislike for the subject. So. For the non-majors, I would say that much of my task is to get them to leave the class, not just successfully, but also not hating the subject. Shirt on, <laughs> shirt off. Who's, who got shirt off? Shirt off? Oh, yeah. The bed of nails demonstration uh, was to also highlight uh, momentum and energy transfer, where the momentum of the hammer goes to the brick, to the nail bed to me, to the lower bed, to the earth. So because it takes energy to change the configuration of the brick from one piece to many pieces, most of the energy of Dr. Carter's swing goes into breaking the brick. What little energy is left over, does get through, is then spread over so many nails that there's not enough force to puncture the skin. Much of my task is to get them to leave the class, not just successfully, but also not hating the subject. And if I can make the class more interesting in that way, uh, by doing some things that will enlighten, entertain, hopefully get them interested, then I feel like I've done a lot.